Tinkerbell. Today we have a book named Tinkerbell, Short Stories for Kids' Children. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. It was a very special day in Pixie Hollow. All the little and big fairies gathered around. Using a sprinkling of pixie dust, a new fairy was born. She was named Tinkerbell. Queen Clarion welcomed the little fairy and said, Born of laughter, clothed in cheer, happiness has brought you here. All the fairies helped Tinkerbell find her talent. They gave her water, flowers, and light, but everything Tinkerbell touched faded away. Then she passed a hammer, and it began to glow. The hammer flew straight toward her. Tinkerbell had found her talent. She became a Tinker Fairy. The Tinker Fairies gathered to welcome Tinkerbell. She was happy to meet them, but also a bit sad. Tinkers were not as fancy as the other fairy. Tinkerbell's new friends, Clank and Bobble, took her on a tour of Pixie Hollow. They saw all the other fairies getting ready for spring. The season is changing, Bobble explained. A lot was happening at Tinker's Nook. Tinkerbell loved seeing all the useful things the Tinker Fairies had made. Fairy Mary was the head of Tinker Fairies. She told Clank and Bobble to quickly deliver what they had created to the rest of the fairies. They would need all the items on the mainland. The mainland sounds flitterific cried Tinkerbell. The Tinker Fairies showed the Queen what they had created. But one of Tinkerbell's creations still needed some work. She would fix it in time to take it with her to the mainland. The Queen told Tinkerbell that Tinker Fairies do not go to the mainland. Your work will be here at Pixie Hollow, Queen Clarion said. Being a Tinker stinks, replied Tinkerbell. Fairy Mary told her to be proud of who she was. But Tinkerbell did not want it to be a Tinker Fairy. She wanted to be a Nature Fairy. She asked for help from her friends. At first, Silver Mist tried to teach Tinkerbell how to be a Water Fairy. But Tinkerbell was not good with water. Then, Iridessa tried to teach Tinkerbell how to be a Light Fairy, but again... She was not good with light. Fawn tried to show Tinkerbell how to be an animal fairy, but Tinkerbell was not good with animals either. Tinkerbell saw a big bird flying in the sky. Maybe that bird can help, she said. The bird made a nose dip for Tinkerbell, yelled the other fairies as they ran for cover. Tinkerbell jumped into a hole to hide. But that hole was Vidya's hiding spot. The hawk was after Vidya now. The other fairies started attacking the hawk with Barry. Vidya was safe now, but she was angry. Tinkerbell tried to help Vidya clean up, but she didn't want Tinkerbell's help. Tinkerbell felt horrible. She couldn't hold drops of water. She couldn't hold rays of light, and baby birds were scared of her. I am useless, said Tinkerbell. She flew to the beach as she wanted to be alone. There Tinkerbell spotted a broken music box. She quickly got to work, and her friends watched her do that. You fixed the box, Silver Mist cried. They were all amazed at Tinkerbell's tinkering talent. She enjoyed tinkering, but Tinkerbell still wanted to go to the mainland. She went to Vidya for help. But Vidya was still angry with Tinkerbell. 
Vidya got an evil idea and said that Tinkerbell should capture the sprinting thistles in order to prove she was a garden fairy. It was Tinkerbell's last hope, and she had to try hard for it. So, Tinkerbell made a corral and a lasso to capture the thistle. She saddled up Cheese the Mouse and was on her way. It's working, cried Tinkerbell. Thistles went into the corral. Suddenly, Vidya blew a strong gust of wind, and the corral gate flew open. The thistles ran out. Hundreds of other thistles ran, too. Tinkerbell then lost control of them. The thistles ran in all directions through Springtime Square, destroying all the springtime supplies. Everyone was now upset. Spring would have to be canceled because of Tinkerbell's fall. Tinkerbell flew away in shame and decided to leave Pixie Hollow for good, but stopped one last time at the Tinker's workshop. As she was looking around, she got a great idea to save Spring. Vidya was punished for helping the thistles escape back to Springtime Square. All the fairies were sad that Spring wouldn't be coming. Wait! I can fix everything! But I can't do everything alone, Tinkerbell cried. Other fairies were eager to help. Tinkerbell showed everyone what to do. Her creations filled buckets with berry paints and seeds in the blink of an eye. Soon, everything was ready to welcome spring. You did it! You saved spring! Queen Clarion exclaimed. We all did it, replied Tinkerbell. Fairy Mary told Tinkerbell that she could go to the mainland, too. The music box she had fixed belonged to a special sweet little girl, and only Tinkerbell could deliver it to her. She was very happy that tinkering had saved the spring. She was a tinker fairy, and proud of it now. Morale of the Tinkerbell Story The morale of this story is that we should not blindly follow or do what others say. In the story, Tinkerbell captures sprinting thistles on the advice of Vidya, who was taking her revenge. It ended up with Spring almost being cancelled, had Tinkerbell not thought about how to save Spring. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.